This is Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, California. Uh, hopefully at the end of the pandemic. We are on electric skateboards. I'm riding uh, the Team G H2O. This board sucks. I do not like the harsh on company unnecessarily, but when I got this, somebody on the uh, I don't know, skateboard site was like, dude, return that while you can. I thought it was just the competition. He was like, no, if it's bad reviews, they, they, they take them down, right? Which I think is just not cool, right? So anyway, I'm like, no worries. And I ride this board for a short period of time and I'm having a good time, right? So I'm like, huh, you were wrong. But no, check this up, right? The uh, wheels, um, I don't know that I ride it particularly hard, right? I live in a hilly city. So you have to turn kind of hard. And sometimes I make believe I'm gonna surfboard, grab the rail and like carve hard, but one way or another, these wheels, which my understanding are not flipping replaceable, have uh, like uh, like torn away from their housing. Basically, they're out of balance, and that's just lame, right? And this board was not cheap. I got this for um, extra distance. Um, you know, it's like, uh, you can go 35 miles. I mean, the distance is not horrible, but it's nothing compared to what they're talking about, right? Now, that board right there is the WowGo 3, I believe, right? And um, that board is exceptional. The thing that makes that board really good is, um, I like the board, it's flexible, stuff like that, but really, as it applies to skateboarding, these are the things you need to know. How many amp hours, that's kind of like miles per battery, right? This one here is a six amp hour battery, which goes almost as far as this Team G that was supposed to go forever, right? You can buy this with an eight amp hour battery which will like get you 20% more um 25 25 of six yeah whatever 30 30 percent more it gets you more let's just say more right um that board right there 400 bucks 400 dollars let's say it again 400 dollars you cannot buy a cheap set of car tires for 400 dollars right so um the uh the difference you now it depends on where you live right you can get them with all-terrain wheels and things like that but the difference between, like I'm a contractor, I live in a city that is not fun to drive in. It just sucks, let's call it what it is, right? Your day sucks when you're in a car. You're looking for a way out and looking for a place to park. Sometimes you don't even go to the flipping party because you're like, you know what? I do not want to try and park on Russian Hill, right? Skateboard, you're like, I'll go even if the party sucks, I'm having a good time. So I'm just freaking rolling down the street, kind of like snowboarding on road trails. Hard to describe how cool it is. In fact, warning, if I'm gonna offer any warning, is um, the uh, uh, skateboard's so fun, I've served pretty much every day my flipping life for the last 20 years, and I don't know, it's incredibly liberating. I kinda overdo things, um, and I overdid that to the most extreme extent, but having easy access to um, happy board sport activities is um it's wild no let's go this way babe keep going straight um this is J uh, jfk drive in san francisco which is close to, close to auto traffic at the moment um you got bikes behind you honey anyway um so I, 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 all right i don't know what i was talking about but i know i was talking because i just can't i'm talking and i can't shut up holy shit. you all right um things get a little hectic here but uh anyway the um um oh the controls on a skateboard um here's the other thing that makes the wild guy really good this uh team ghu acceleration is really uh, like um uh powerful right um and now it's not horrible if you put it on the lower settings it's, it's not really bad but you do not want the acceleration that you're looking for on your sport bike motorcycle you know what i mean you you want to have gradual acceleration you know fast acceleration has the board shoot up from any under your heat feet the uh wabgo uh remote affords you the ability to uh adjust i don't know, take off smoothly let's just say that right then the brakes that's the other thing brakes you want brakes that lock up quick on your mountain bike not on your flipping skateboard and this team g um it's almost like an on off switch so i have to set it to a really forgiving setting and uh, otherwise you're like, I don't know, it just sucks. You can't relax. You want to like chill and, and be able to gradually, up, um, you know, uh, increase the breakage, if you will, like you would on a gas pedal. 
or probably a brake pedal, more appropriately termed. Anyway, um, so check this out. Rowena is um, not like an extreme sport athlete, right? She's uh, as athletic as any and not necessarily more than others. And um, she's been riding this for a few weeks now, right? So um, it is uh, way easier and more stable. And that's not to undermine the great abilities of Miss Rowena and Navia, but um, you do not have to be in a, you know, a, an extreme sport athlete to be um, riding a uh, fun way to get around town. As a contractor, sometimes my employees in another part of town are like, yeah, we got a question. And you're like, you know what? I'd almost rather take the hit. Just do your best. I'll pay for it if we got to redo it. Skateboard? They're probably hating it because I'll show up when they don't want me there. I'm just kidding. They always want me there. Uh, wow, go. Um, something three is what that board is. Highly recommend it. Team G. Uh, let me think. The wheels not only went out of balance, but the controls. Have I trashed this board enough? I really do not like to harsh on companies. But the fact that they... Uh, we got to make a choice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.